Hello everyone and welcome to Portal 64. I'm your host David and today we're going to be reacting to the sixth episode of the 14th season of Red vs. Blue, Orange is the New Red. So we're going to watch the episode, talk about it for a bit. Uh, from the trailer, it doesn't really look like it shows any characters that we know. I don't know, it was a very short trailer, so let's just start it here. The trailer for RTX, if you guys see me at RTX. You're welcome to say hi. I'm more than willing to meet new people. Especially since I'm kind of going somewhat alone. Cow, that is loud! You know, when most people talk about the Reds and the Blues, they're talking about my boys in Blood Gulch. But hmm. lots of dudes forget that there's a bunch more primary colored commandos all over the galaxy. <laughs> And they're all idiots. <laughs> they're all idiots. Are there any yellow cadets, though? That is the question. Because he said primary colors. Yellow's a primary color as well. Is this uh, Tharun's level in Halo 3? I, I bet Rooster Teeth was just delighted when they announced new armor in Halo 3. They, turf. they all stink. <laughs> Every single one always stinks. Yeah, but this one really stinks. Oh, gross. We have the worst fucking CO. That'll be five <laughs> laps, drag. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, you don't insult the CO. What's the point CEO of this stupid helmet if it doesn't make you the smell of your farts out? You just picked the wrong it's helmet, true. Morgan. I can't smell anything, and I look cool as hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, ooh, check that. Uh, Check my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Colonel, sir, sir, also, he's wearing that helmet that looks like that one storm trooper. There's no way we're gonna find any blues out here. Morgan's right, Turf. Plus, hmm. even if we did find some blues, which we're not, I'm not sure anything could survive out here for more than a day or so. I'm sorry, <laughs> but was that five laps, Lieutenant? Sir, I'm carrying a pound of sand between my butt cheeks, and I am literally oh, covered head to toe in armor. That's a personal problem, Lieutenant, and this is a professional situation. <laughs> We have an assignment to eradicate the blue surf. Santos is calling from there the There are ship. no blues. Uh, this is Colonel Turf. What's wrong, Santos? How come every time I check in on you guys, you always assume something's wrong? Tell him it's oh, because something usually is before. wrong. Everything's fine down here. No sign of anything. How's everything on the ship? Uh, well, there's no wine bars, I can tell you that. <laughs> he says that every time, and it's never funny. Well, hold on. <laughs> it was a little bit funny the first time. It's Why would they put a wine bar on a spaceship? Exactly, it doesn't make any sense. Unless it's a spaceships cruise don't spaceship. don't have wine bars. So why is he so surprised? It's absurdist humor. It doesn't have to make sense, that's the joke. Yeah, <laughs> but why would they put a wine bar on a spaceship? Forget it. You guys it's are a cruise always spaceship, spaceship. that's why. suck. Santos, get on with it. <sighs> I just wanted to let you know that we think we may have fixed the ship's artificial vocal modulator. So we'll be able to communicate with the ship's AI. That's right. Great. Someone new to argue with. Wait, how'd you even do that? Is it going to be like Santa's far oh, advanced alien races really think of everything? Okay, we're going to uh, be back to cousin. the ship. That's what I meant to say, distant. I'll let Cherry know. Uh, who? Cherry, I need you. Of course, Major Santos. What do you need? Can oh. you beam back turf, drag Morgan and Sue from the desert? <laughs> Chew the desert, sir? Unfortunately, I don't have a physical mouth, so I cannot. No. Sue? From the desert. <laughs> Teleport them back. Oh, yes, of course, sir. Initiating process now. I, I don't know if I would call you this an A I. Help, sir. She's kinda lacking in the I part. <laughs> Ready up. We're headed back to the ship. I hate this part. It feels like someone crams a big electric rod up my ass. Oh. All soldiers fully transported. Thank you, Cherry. Word up. I can't believe you're <laughs> cherry. But I like her style. So sweet. <laughs> she belongs to an alien race bent on the eradication of our species. That was the old me. The new me is happy to serve you, feeble human scum. <laughs> <laughs> no, call them Shizno. Okay? That's the correct I think I just poop more sand than poop. Oh, gross. Roll call. Lieutenant Drag. Major Santos. Drag Santos. Private Sue. Private Peak? P 
And this is my favorite part. Captain Morgan. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Seriously? Every day we do this and every day all of you is laugh. Because Morgan's it's like always a girl funny. Name. All right, settle down. I mean, it's down. a boy and Listen a girl up, boys. <clears throat> Why are they laughing hey, at lady. Captain Morgan? Do alien AI constructs have genders? Absolutely. Trust me. What does that mean? What? Enough! And I understand world. your recent frustrations, but as you all know, we have a directive. Our assignment is to destroy all the blues, no matter the cost to ourselves. Or our butts. Think of the butts, <laughs> Colonel. Regardless, like any good leader, I am attuned to the morale of this squad. Ergo, I've prepared a presentation designed specifically to raise spirits and remind all of you exactly why you're here. Oh, give me three minutes. I'm gonna go make some popcorn. Wait, we have popcorn? Of course Dude. we do. It's popcorn. Not a fucking white bar. <laughs> well, as I'm sure you all so it makes sense know, to have popcorn, but it's just not a white bar. A group of red soldiers who battled for months. Oh my gosh, this is like Yin's art. Oh my Actually, gosh. we defeated them. Hang on, it's we really... didn't really defeat them. Cherry did. Okay, fine. So we kind of <laughs> defeated the Blues. During a routine observation mission, Private Sue reported there. seeing a bright <laughs> object appear in the sky. Approximately three minutes oh. later, that object came crashing down. Our story, our point on journey. <laughs> Upon further oh. inspection, we discovered that the noise we heard was, in fact, an alien spacecraft with Which a horrible sense on. of direction. That incident was user error. Thank you very much. <laughs> when we inspected the wreckage, we found that the alien crew, as well as every member of the Blue Squad, was We're dead. dead. <laughs> uh, about that. Private, please do not interrupt the presentation. Rip These blues. slides do not make <laughs> Poor little guys. Poor little nothing. Reds were for us. Spaceship remained intact. Was one of them teabagging? Was kind enough to let us come aboard. It was the least I that could do. That is the ship, the in case you can't but tell. That was from entirely a user error, as I mentioned before. <laughs> so, was it our plan to have a giant spaceship crash down on the blue base? No. But did we capitalize on that opportunity like a couple of badass soldiers entrenched in us seemingly in this battle with our cerulean enemies? <laughs> Hell, Hell yeah. yeah! Yeah! Oh my gosh. Uh, not to be a downer, but These that was months just... ago. Since then, yeah, we've they're... just been wandering around in this ship searching for blues with nothing to show for it. Morgan's right. Oh, they like escaped their post, the which they weren't we supposed find, to. But we can't find any blues. And I'm all out of popcorn. Uh, what's that? Uh, Jerry, new location is the spaceship identified. gonna crash again? For life, forms. <laughs> life forms detected! Oh no. Mother of God. It's blood gold. You ever wonder why we're here? <laughs> it's a great mystery, isn't it? Why are we here? I mean, are we the product of... This is so iconic. Is coincidence, or... Is there really a God watching everything? <laughs> I don't know, man. But it keeps, keeps me up, up at night. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Where there's reds, there's blues. blues. Oh, what no. What? <laughs> what are they doing now? God damn, I'm getting so sick of answering that question. <laughs> you fucking rifle, I can't see shit. Don't picture me because I'm not going to just sit up here and play with my dick. Hey, you look. <laughs> blues back on the menu, This is awesome. They're just Blue watching Red vs. Blue. Oh, no. <laughs> Captain Morgan! <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about Captain Morgan? Alright, so this is gonna have a sequel episode. Or maybe it's a trilogy of episodes. Dude, that was... What the heck's gonna go on? I... What in the world? That... They were like the audience for Red vs. Blue, which is so weird. That's very meta. What... <laughs> I want to know what happens next with this, because we obviously don't see them in Blood Gulch Chronicles, so something's going to happen on their way to meet them, or else it's going to be one of those weird things. Maybe they come in time for the bomb to go off, and they all disappear, and then they are in Blood... blood these guys are in Blood Gulch with no one there, and then they just kind of leave, and Sheila's just wandering around. You know, that would explain why Sheila's on when, they, when the Reds get back. Because she, she shuts off, Church tells her to turn off and save some power, and then they come back and she's on, so who knows, maybe maybe we'll see what happens, I don't know. Because, you know, they're traveling in a spaceship, who knows how long it's going to take them to get there, it might take them a few seasons, but yeah.
Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought about this episode down in the comments. And if there's any special episodes this season that you're looking forward to, I'm still really looking forward to the Rocket Jump episode, which I believe is supposed to be live action. So yeah, leave a like. And I'm also trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of RTX. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more reaction videos or any of my gaming videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Did I talk about- <gasps>